today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to attack zone coverage in Madden 24. We're taking a look at the play X spot out of the Gun Bunch tight end formation in the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire Green Bay Packers offensive ebook, it's got bunch tight end, trips tight end, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, make sure you join the Patreon. It's, and we're actually going to be updating this ebook as well now that we have Hot Route Master into Mutt and we have our full route tree to be able to make this offense really, really effective. So again, if you want to check all that stuff out, the link's going to be down in the description below. The setup for this is really simple. We're going to streak the left side receiver on the outside bunch side. Really important, you want to run this with your bunch to the short side of the field um, because it's going to make it easier to attack zone coverage. Then you're going to drag your tight end and you're going to Texas route your running back or angle route your running back. Your first read is always going to be uh, kind of this left-hand side. And against man coverage, low-key, everything got bagged. So we'll try it one more time, um, and we'll show you. Typically, it doesn't. Typically, your drag is going to be open, or your flat's going to be open, or something. Um, so we see here. Look at Gilmore just bagging. Look at Gilmore just absolutely bagging um, over there on that side. Now, the other thing I want to say is typically uh, your corner route will also win. Uh, but you'll see here the running back angle route. If all things fail against man coverage, the running back's going to be wide open. Now, for some reason, I got Brandon Cooks in there. I'm going to go ahead and sub him out. I don't know if the game kind of put some weird depth chart stuff on there. Um, but let me get a little bit better of a receiver that has the actual route running you need to be effective against man coverage. And you'll probably see that this route beats man coverage. I recommend 85 or 90, even 90 route running if possible. Now you'll see... Uh, this corner is still going to get bagged because Stephon Gilmore is probably the best corner in the game. So man coverage, not looking so good. Um, uh, but zone coverage is going to be an absolute laser against zone coverage. Uh, we'll show you. But the, the main read, if you if they truly are going to run man coverage on you and press you like that, the running back is going to be open. Okay, So you, you don't have to worry too much. You're going to have the running back. You're going to have the tight end, uh, typically in man coverage situation. Finally, our corner route wins. And you see we're able to throw that to the sideline. So the corner route will win for the most part. Um, it just kind of depends a little bit on how they're shading their coverage. If they're shading outside, it might not win as consistently. Uh, but typically, this corner route will be a pretty good read for you against man. This play is also extremely effective against zone coverage. And one other thing I want to show you is it's actually pretty good against the blitz. And the reason why is because these quick throw drags over the middle of the field are super effective. You'll see he'll just get across. We're just going to rack catch that upfield. And if you break that tackle, you could be out for a big play. So you have you have that as well. Um, so if they drop zones over to the sideline uh, to try to counter your corner route, then you're going to be able to hit either your tight end or your running back Texas route over the middle of the field. Now, as I said, this is one of the best ways to attack the left sideline in this formation and really good for attacking zone. So what you're going to see in a zone coverage is because we're running this with our bunch to the short side, if they run cover four or they run cover three, then we are going to be able to attack that corner route every single time against those coverages. So you see here, here's cover three. Actually, Stephon Gilmore is playing the game of his life. We've got to have to check that down to the flat um, because the curl flat got the most depth I've seen a curl flat get in the last four years. Uh, so anyways, if they do do that, then you can just check it down to the flat and you know, get your yards that way. Most people, um, when they run their cover three, that, that curl flat's not going to be able to get that much depth. Um, it's going to look more so like that. Okay. So we're really kind of forcing them into running a cover two and specifically running a cover two where they're able to essentially mabel uh, their coverage out of it. So... If they mable their coverage out of this, let me show you what that's going to look like. So if they run just a basic cover two, the cloud flat can uh, get enough depth to stop this corner route, but we can throw this quick flat early. Um, if they're not playing hard flats, we can always throw the flat. Uh, we have the ability to do that in this offense. And then the other thing that's kind of a pretty nice little thing about this, or this uh, route combo is this corner route can um, get over the top of cover two if they don't back the guy up, okay? Or if they don't set zone, zone, uh, zone drops. So now uh, we're gonna back the guy up. So now we back the guy up and we're gonna drop that safety in the hard flat there. And then and then typically you're gonna get something like this. Uh, you might get a coverage that looks something like this right here with the user in the middle of the field, okay? So the user's in the middle of the field here. I want you to watch what's gonna happen with the tight end. You're gonna see a little window that we can hit when the tight end comes across. 
right about here. You could throw that right in that little pocket. And that's a really good read for any kind of double Mabel defense where they actually are going to take away some of our sideline options. Then we're able to come backside and we're able to really work our backside reads here. So you'll see here if they put a zone or they try to use her the tight end across the formation, then you're going to now be able to attack with your running back. And so we'll show that as well here. So again, if they kind of run with the tight end at the snap of the ball, then you're going to want to look to potentially hit this Texas route over the middle for a quick juke and a potential big play. So I love the way this route combo kind of fits together within the bunch tight end uh, formation. I think formationally, it's one of the best ways to run this concept. And um, the running back Texas route will just bail you out of all kinds of stuff. Um, if for whatever reason, I'm surprised Kyle Pitts is a beating man coverage a little bit better than he normally does. Um, this is a little bit more what you're going to get. If, if they play man, you normally are going to get something like that where he's able to get across, beat the man coverage for a quick five, uh, a quick seven yards. And then if they don't have any anybody in the middle of the field um, because they went to go guard the tight end, then your running back Texas pattern becomes one of the best routes in the entire game. Okay. So that's how I like to run the X spot play out of bunch tight end. If you want to get my entire uh, Packers offensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description down below. Ten bucks will get you access to all of the ebooks, all the updates, everything uh, for just ten bucks. So head down to the description and go join the Patreon today by clicking the link down below.